What's up, everybody? Provis here with another episode of Magic Duel's Battle for Zendikar. Did I say Orange Origins last time? I hope I didn't. Uh, we, uh, I am right back into the game. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Boop. And we're we're gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna fucking prove to you that this is the right deck for you, baby. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna show you that this is the cheese, the cheesest deck in the game. I promise. And if you just don't make the same mistakes I do, you will be. God tier, rank 41, and 10,000 gold coins per minute. All right, that is my promise to you. Uh, we are up against Londo. I, I, didn't, I didn't read that in time. I am going first, which is super good. That is super good hand. Everything about this makes me happy. Where do I want to go? I want to... Oh, I, I have to... Come on. <laughs> I didn't want to throw that down. I don't even have a land out. Oh, man. What do you think this is, Fravas? Paper magic, where you can just throw everything down at once and nobody gives a shit? No, man. No, 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 no. We got rules to follow here, baby. All right, what is your name? Londo Nalvaro. That is interesting. Very foreign. I kind of like that. Ah, oh, super sexy. All right, we will uh, get our butts in there. I want to save this Titan Strength. No, fuck it. No, I'm not. <laughs> uh, remember, I got to be as aggro as possible. Uh, that's a great card. I love having those cards. Those are super fun. Don't mind me at all. Actually, I could have saved it and then just put down Mage Ring Bully, but fuck it. The only time... Ugh, gosh, I don't know, because I also have uh, Foundry Street Denizen, who will now benefit from uh, a Mage Ring Bully coming on down. And then the Mage Ring Bully can benefit from the Fiery Impulse, which is probably going to take out one of his creatures either this turn or next turn. All right, we're going up against the Simic Guild today. Mist Intruder, who is not vulnerable. No, wait, wait, I'm sorry, is vulnerable to the Fiery Impulse, which is actually a problem for me. It is. Hmm. Well, let's see how he feels about this. If he wants to trade with my Foundry Street Denizen, uh, he may. He may. Let's see if he wants to. Uh, odds are probably that he does not. If he's running that, then he wants to ingest my things. He's thinking about it. It will also tell me that he's probably got another something similar in there. All right, he is going for the trade. Um, I'm not 100% happy for that trade. Maybe I shouldn't have offered it. Mm, a part of me really didn't think that he would do it. But now I have um, a Fiery Impulse open for uh, whatever creature he puts down now. Uh, that's not going to work. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, well. Uh, that creature will die, at least. Thank Gords. Oh, actually, I don't even need to do that. I don't even need to do that. Let's see if he wants to do this. Yeah, this won't even be a trade. This will just be bad news bears for him. The baddest of the newsiest bears. The other option was to throw that on the guy with Menace, but I'm not going to do that. All right, he does want to throw that out. That's interesting. All right, uh, so he is trying very hard to stem the tide of red washing over him right now, which I don't know what's in his hand, but might be the right move. Uh, this isn't necessarily wrong. He's just trying to stabilize ASAP. Okay, he did have another one in hand, so that was definitely the right play from him. Uh, little does he know that I have, like, pretty much the same play. <laughs> hmm. Not gonna play anything. Uh, it's still got four, so he's, got ha he's gonna have to throw away another one. What will he do? He hasn't digested anything on me yet. Oh, he's, he's letting it through. You think he's got a way to get rid of all this? You think he's got a way to get rid of all this? If he does, it's only that thing that makes everything go back up into my hand, so casting it all right now isn't an issue for me. So, this is how I feel. Bada bing, bada boom. You're dead next turn unless you got something real good coming my way. And with those colors, I'm not too afraid of any, like board stabilizing cards. Yeah, wow, he had three <laughs> infiltrators in his hand. Not bad. Not bad at all. Mm, 
this is good. This is good. This. Let's see. So we're hitting him for two, three, four. And then we're going to get rid of at least one of his infiltrators. No, we're going to get rid of both of them. Unless he blocks wrong. Are you serious? You just gave up? Okay. All right. <laughs> well, that that's also an option. <laughs> I mean, okay. It took me a minute. It was like, wait, did I not have the power here? <laughs> it's like, he could have survived one more turn, but it uh, looks like he didn't... Uh, I mean, he would have been down a lot of cards, and he was just stabilizing. So I, I don't really... I don't really blame him for just kind of giving up on that. Could have been a misplay. Could have been a little fuck up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I don't want my friends. I don't have friends. I, that's not true. I do have friends. I, I... <laughs> you know what? Saying I have friends is like the most sketchy way. It's like, that's like probably the number one way to say I don't have friends. Uh, so, so what should I say instead? Does the opposite? I do, I don't have friends? And does that make it sound like I actually have, no, I, really, either way, say it. If I say I don't have friends or I do have friends, either way, it sounds like I don't have friends, so fuck it, I'm not gonna say anything. Uh, cool cat doesn't love me, guys. That's, that's because I, I just, just don't do drugs. Uh, this is an, a, a great hand. Uh, don't go first, so it, it kind of sucks. But, uh, both, me, uh, I got... Enough mana to cast literally everything in my hand. Uh, and Mage Ring Bully gets pumped by pretty much everything else. Except for now Chandra, but I just picked her up. So, great opening hand. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Only thing that would have made it better is if I went first. Okay, we are up against Boros. Boros can... Boros are bros, and they can fuck me up real good. Um, I do have two removal spells. This removal spell I might save for later after I, tr I cast... Twin Bolt and Dragon Fodder. Uh, well, I'll tell you right now, the, the, the play is Majoring Bully. The other option, of course, is Dragon Fodder, but since, it, since both these guys play off of it, I'm going to sacrifice a little bit of damage now for hopefully more damage in the future. Let's see if he has a Twin Bolt or something to take care of this guy. Uh, nope, he's just taking it. Okay. That's fine. He is watching damage effects, so maybe he's a newer player. Uh, not that newer players don't run Twin Bolt. Max! I hope you're not mad, Max. <laughs> oh! Oh, no! Oh, that's not good. Uh-oh. Oh, sorry to see that. That's not good at all. Um, well, that's just very upsetting. Uh, if that's the case, uh, Dragon Fodder is definitely the, the card that's going to make me have the most damage in uh, the shortest amount of time. So there's uh, six right there, uh, an additional six, seven, eight next turn. That's the, uh, we're, we're getting pretty close to game right now. Uh, hopefully Max has another another play, or any play at all. Any play at all from Max would be very good because this is this is coming up to be about the end for him. Uh, this just in, if your opponent doesn't play, <laughs> you win the game. <laughs> wow, yeah, he's gone. Uh, that sucks, man. Uh, maybe he had a, a hand that, you know, he just needed one more land or something. Let's see, how can I win right now? This will be an extra two damage. Uh, this will also be an extra two damage. Alright. Actually, this is more than two damage. So, that's what I'll play. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Almost. So damn close. And the, uh, But it is pretty much over with the Twin Bolt next turn. So, uh, good job. Uh, well, not really. It just it kind of sucks. I'm sorry that happened, bro. I, I, I know the feels. And I'm just going to Twin Bolt him in the face as soon as I get the lands for it. Oh, yeah. No no plays at all. That really sucks. He was obviously waiting on... Uh, why would I want to do that to my own guys? What? No! Damn it. Uh, he was obviously waiting on something. He must have had something interesting in his hand. Uh, that's really unusual for those colors because those colors usually have a lot of things in the in the lower casting cost spectrum. So him not having any plays is really shitty. Just really bad luck kind of stuff, and makes me feel bad for the guy. All right, this is the last game uh, of this episode. Damn, these are going fast, aren't they? Man, yeah, I'm telling you, man, these red decks. Uh, 
they're, they're, I, I mean, even if, even if a lot of these are losses, just the speed at which we're get, getting through these should be... Oh, I love that avatar. Oh, that's one of my favorite ones. Uh, favorite of the new ones, actually. Not my favorite ones overall, obviously, but that particular avatar is super cool. She's like such a fucking boss. Look at her. She's like gonna sentence you to death and not even watch. Oof, what a bitch. Astvogel. Oh, God. Awful name. Awful. One vowel. Ugh. Ugh. Huh. She goes first, though? No, not if she goes first. I would have kept it if I went first. This is way better. This is obscenely better because I'm gonna have a, a trampling menace. Even even though she's going ahead of me. Oh, I hope this isn't the same deck because she's got a significant advantage on me. If it is. Ooh, that, that actually makes me think maybe I should have put Goblin Arsonist down because of exactly that. Yeah, that... She, I think she's probably got a very similar deck to me. Odds are pretty good that she has too many lands, though. And she's going to be picking up way more land cards than I am. Uh, okay, no play at all. That's interesting. <clears throat> Alright, well. Uh, I cannot put down Street Denizen because if she has a Twin Bolt, I'm going to cry. That, th those would be my only creature cards, so screw that. Not happening. And uh, the odds of her having a twin bolt are, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go ahead and say 100%. She absolutely, maybe not in hand, but in deck, she's got a twin bolt. Trust. Ooh, majoring bully. That's nice. We are not gonna cast him though. We're gonna make her deal with this ASAP. And there it is. That's that's what she's got. And that is exactly the reason you don't put down creatures. So, Street Denizen comes out. We still have a creature in hand, so it's a little bit better. <laughs> uh, oh, she's Gruel. Okay. Big difference. Super big difference. Hmm. Hmm. I don't have any instant or sorcery spells, which kind of sucks. I could get rid of that. Oh man, what do you think, you guys? Is this a trick? Is this a trick? I could get in there. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to hold off. Um... They had a lot of responses to me, and I don't want to burn burn out so early. Well, that's not good either. That's actually quite bad. A lot of bad things happening, and they're just going to leave that as a wall for me. They're not even going to swing in. They are! All right! Okay. That's interesting. Did not see that coming. Uh, I won't play anything. Uh, I'll, let, I'll, I'll just take it, and that's okay. That is okay. See what I get. Hopefully that uh, one mana plus two, plus one, or plus three, plus one. Uh, this is okay. This means I can swing with everybody. <clears throat> Dangerous games, man. Dangerous reindeer games. Really? Okay. Hmm. One, two. I think that was the right play. Not a hundred percent sure. I'm hoping it was. Leave my twin bolt open. A little worried. Uh, this could go pretty bad for me. They're pro oh yeah, that that and this is probably game right here. There's there's no way I can deal with a six six on the field. So this is game. the The guy had three essentially what I consider bombs in his hand, uh, and the man had to blow through them. So I'm, no, just not gonna happen, man. Gruel, you win again, buddies. Your your savagery knows no bounds. Ironically, I still can't kill him. Uh, I, I could hit him for three at sorcery speed. 
I, I can't do anything, actually. There's absolutely nothing I can do. If this was an instant, I'd be able to do it. Uh... No, I got nothing. I got nothing. You win, man. All right. That was it for the last game. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for having fun with me. Two out of three. Eh, not as good as I wanted it to be, man. I, I really want to have a, a, a three win with these guys. Was it two out of three? I think it was. All right. I will see you guys next episode, which is going to be recorded pretty damn fast. Thank you.